Now, this one is in section, as we can see here, 12.2, quadratic e equations in which we are asked to complete the square. So, take a moment to write it down. And then, let's see what we can do with it. Well, as I write it down, I'm going to get all of these positive over here. So this will be a, ne a positive 2x squared. I'm going to multiply each term by a negative 1, reverse the signs. This then becomes a positive 16x. And I'm going to put my equal sign there. And this will become a positive 7. So all I did is I multiplied everything by a negative 1. I like my first term here to be a positive. Now, according to our recipe for completing the square, we have to divide everything so that we get x all by itself here. So this is divided by 2, divided by 2, divided by 2. So this now is x squared plus 8x equals 7 halves. Now the recipe we're following for completing the square is we're putting a set of parentheses with a square there. We want to convert this into a perfect square trinomial so we need a term here that we're going to add to both sides. So the recipe for this is and we're looking at ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. We want to find, and we want this to be a perfect square trinomial. So we look at our b term, and we want to find out what that c term will be. And we know it's going to look like this with an x there. And this is going to be a plus. And the recipe we said was take half. That is, divide the b term by 2. So that's going to give us a 4. Now, when we square this binomial, we square this term, we get x squared. Then we multiply these two terms together and get 4x. But then we have to double it to get 8x. So when we are dealing with our b term in the perfect square trinomial format, we have to take half of b to find out what this is here. Now to get our new c term, and I'll change colors for this, we're going to square the 4 and get 16. Now to keep this equation that we have set up here, we added 16 here. We have to now add 16. Now I want to add 16 such that it has a denominator of 2. Remember, right now it's 16 over 1. So if I multiply each by a 2, 2 over 2 is 1, this gives me 32 halves. All right, so now I can add these together. So now my new equation is, I'm going to add this. This gives me 39 halves. And there I am at this stage. Now, what do we do? Well, in completing the square, we have now completed the square. That's this process here. Once we have a binomial that's squared, we're going to use our rule, take the square root of this side, and then plus or minus the square root of that side. Now, since this index number is 2, and we're squaring it, it just becomes the radicand. So now on this side we have x plus 4 equals, 
and I'm not allowed to have a 2 in a fractional radical expression here as a denominator. So I have to make this rationalize. So I'm going to rationalize this by multiplying it by 1 in the form of the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. Now here, the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 gives me the square root of 4, which is 2. And I go 2 times 39, which gives me 78 under the radical sign. And that was plus or minus. So I've rationalized the denominator here. And then to solve for x, I just transpose the 4 over as a negative 4. So, again, changing colors. This is my answer. And how did I get it? Well, I have all the steps here. And if you want to watch this again, you're perfectly welcome to do so. In fact, I would strongly advise it. Okay, we'll wrap this up here. One more thing. When I put the answer into the system, I got it right. Okay, this will wind it up.